guys welcome back to my channel so today I have got my monthly Scentsy haul from here on out when it comes to the Scentsy boxes I'm just going to show you the Scentsy parts that come in the boxes so this month's theme was Disney we actually got a lot of Scentsy things in the box so don't worry you're not missing out in anything and the non sensey Disney stuff that I don't show in this video I'll show in my Disney haul so you'll see it then. So yeah I've got some Disney stuff, some non Disney stuff but it's all sensey so I'm going to start with the stuff I got in the Disney sensey box. First of all we have samples so this first one is yes Disney and it is the 100 acre wood one. I'm giving this one to my mum because I knew I wasn't gonna like, it's not that I don't like the smell but I just had a feeling I wasn't going to enjoy it as much. See it's okay I'm smelling it and it's it's not as horrible as I thought it was going to be because it's 100 acre woods I thought it's definitely going to be a flowery smell and it's most likely going to be lavender it's not it's not a flowery smell it does smell like dove soap though and I'm not I'm not into that so um my mum can have it and she can still smell and she really likes this one so I don't feel so bad about giving her ones that I'm not that into because she likes it so I probably won't be buying this in a large bar I was gonna buy all the Disney ones just for my collection but they're eight pounds and I don't I don't really like Winnie the Pooh either so I know there's probably a lot of people watching this saying what is wrong with you yeah not a big fan of Winnie the Pooh so don't have any inkling to buy this the next one we have is definitely a different vibe to the first one this is mini love and kisses and it's a little love heart I'll take it out I don't want to say too much about it but mm, definitely like this one it smells like straight up sweeties it smells so sweetie like that it's I want to eat it and it's in a love heart shape don't know what colour it is but I kind of imagine it to be like an orangey red colour and then the sighty people are probably like no Rachel it's purple I imagine the 100 acre would want to be purple but yeah definitely like this smell I remember reading it online there's notes of apricot and vanilla in this which is why I was drawn to it because I do love me some apricot and vanilla but my mum's having this sample too because I'm a nice person The last sample we have is mine and it's not Disney per se but it is kind of Disney themed. It's called Berry Fairy Tale. So it's still in that category and I was actually surprised because I've never heard of this one um, and I've never seen it online before. It's in a kind of, I don't know what shape you would call this. To me it feels like a funny sweetie but um very berry smelling, very berry, ha 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 ha, I made a funny, no, um, it smells quite like pomegranates, there's a lot of candles I pick up and they're called like dazzling pomegranate, this is what this smells like, so that is my sample because, well I've never heard of it and I am a sucker for berry smells, now these are all our wee samples, I did also get two other samples, they're both the same, blueberry cheesecake because Andrea doesn't like blueberry cheesecake. I mean the scent, not the food, I mean maybe she doesn't like the food either but Andrea, like I love blueberry cheesecake, I think it smells amazing and she didn't want them because they were stinking out her box so she gave me her last two samples which I'm not going to argue with because I love them. Um, I've got one on burning just now, that's why I'm not showing you them, and then, well, I've already told you it, it's a, a blueberry cheesecake sample. It, it's it's in the bag somewhere in here, but that is all the samples I've got this month. So moving on to the actual bars, 
one of the bars one of the bars is going to be my mum and one of the bars is going to be mine we've got two but I can't I feel bad so the first bar we have is the Mulan bar and uh, I'll have a wee sniffy sniff is it the Mulan bar? wait a minute I always doubt myself wait a minute I'm 100% sure that was the Milan bar. Yeah, yeah it was. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the Milan bar, which is one of the Disney princesses in the Disney Prisney, the Disney Prinzy. Talking too fast. The Disney princess range. Um, ages ago when I done my last Sensi unboxing, I briefly told you I had four of all of the Disney Princess bars. I just haven't spoke about them yet because I haven't done my Disney haul. I was going to do it today but then my Sensi box came and that has to take priority. So I'll briefly talk about Milan. Um, Milan is my second favourite smell out of all the Disney Princesses. It's um, it's it's quite rose-like smelling and if you're like me and you get put off by the smell of flowers it smells like if you've ever been to Lush the, the rose argan oil it's like that except it's not as creamy it, it's more sweeter so that's what it kind of smells like definitely a kind of florally smell but it's a very sweet floral smell which is why I like it so much but I'm giving this one to my mum because I've already got a Mulan bar up in my room and that's why I feel bad because I feel like I give her the bars I don't want or the bars I already have which brings me on to the next bar I want to say it's mine and I want to say I'm keeping it up here but I don't know, I feel bad. And that is the Finding Dory or the Finding Nemo Just Keep Swimming. Now, I was going to buy this off my own back and if I can open it and mm, it smells really good. It smells like a spa mixed with a seaside. So imagine like the a, the cleanest beach you've ever been to and then the sea is full of like bath salts and and aloe vera and stuff like that that's what it literally smells like it's got like sea salt in it and aloe vera smells and it's just the most freshest cleanest sea smell ever and with these smells it's either a hit or a miss for me i either really really like them or they're okay and I do like this one and I would have bought this one off my own back because Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory is one of my favourite films and I like the smell but mum likes the smell too in fact I think she likes it even more than me which is what makes me feel bad so I don't know maybe I'll just give it to her and keep it down the stairs because the beauty is even when we keep the bars down the stairs I can still go down and use it so I can still technically use it it's just that the bars I keep up here I can keep watch on and I'm much more possessive because my mum's completely different for me when it comes to Sensi Bars. My mum is like, you know, oh the world could be ending tomorrow, let's put three Sensi Cubes in the burner whereas I'm a lot more of a tight ass. It's like, I'll put one bar in, just one, one cube in and I won't burn it for another three months. So the idea of her like just throwing two in straight away is like <gasps> to me, but I'm, it's not a limited, I don't think they're a limited edition, it doesn't say limited edition on the website, um, so they'll probably be there for a few more months anyway and if I really want I can buy my own bar or I can buy another bar so we have even more. And the last thing in the Sensi Disney box was, was, I can't talk today, was this Sensi Scent Circle and it is in the fragrance Our Pal Mickey. I definitely wanted to buy this in a Sensi Wax Bar. I, I can't really smell it so I can't really describe the smell to you. All I can remember is when I was reading the mini scent and the Mickey scent online, the Mickey one had notes of 
I think apple and orange blossom and I love apple and orange blossom but when it comes to apple and orange blossom or vanilla and apricot sorry my heart lies with vanilla and apricot but this would have been like the next one so the next um order that I would have asked MJ to put in would have been um probably the Finding Dory wax bar and the Mickey wax bar I think that's all yeah because I don't want the 100 acre wood one and um, yeah so I can't really smell it but I'm sure it'll smell amazing this is definitely going to my mum because she needs a new air freshener in her car plus you know it's Disney and it's adorably cute and she needs some Disney in her car and I'm not going to say no to that Three things I have in this bag are all not Disney things. So that is the Disney, everything from the Disney scent box I showed you. So these three things are three orders I put in myself. These are all new scents um, from Scentsy. That's why this Scentsy unboxing is a bit later because it took forever and ever to come. No fault to Andrea, it is Scentsy's fault. Sensei, if you're watching this, I don't think you are, but WTF, why are you taking like nearly two and a half weeks to send people's orders out? Like, I, I don't get it and it's not on. Get your finger out. Anyway, after that mild rant, um, so yeah, no sense. This first one is, wait till I smell it first. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. This first scent is breakfast blend now it depends where you sit in the spectrum if you sit on the the tea gang or the coffee club i sit with the the tea gang so when i when my mum was reading them out to me in the books and she said breakfast blend i instantly thought of english breakfast tea but it's actually coffee and you know what i love the smell of brewed coffee and mm, it's lovely it's not just like, it's not really, really strong, offensive coffee. It's almost sweet kind of cake coffee like. It's incredible. I just want to get this out, out there here and now before anybody contradicts me later down the line. Yes, I have said in my own life, I don't know if I've ever said it on YouTube, I hate the smell of coffee. What I mean by that is I hate the smell of stale coffee. I think stale coffee is the most disgusting smell in the world but when coffee has just been brewed or it's been brewing I think it's the most magical smell in the world. Also curry, I think when curry is being cooked it smells amazing but you know three hours later when your house is stinking of curry it's not good so just to clarify not that anyone cares but I do. So that is a new autumn set. I haven't as you can see I haven't burned any, well you don't burn them, I haven't melted any yet but oh, cannot wait to use them. The next one, let me give it a sniff of any dummy. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this one is almighty strong. The next one is almond cream. I don't know, it just, it just sounded appealing to me as you guys know. I freaking love my cake smells and I'm not a huge fan of nuts though I have been getting into them a bit more recently but I like nut smelling things this doesn't smell anything like nuts or cream it smells like the strongest marzipan smell you have ever smelled so if you do not like marzipan run and run as fast as you can away from this because it is mega powerful like super powerful but i like it and the, the stronger the su sweeter the sicklier it is the better And the last bar I've got in this wee haul is Many Loving Kisses. That is why I'm giving the Many Loving Kisses sample to my mum. Because I already have a whole bar. 
Um, yeah, as you probably guessed all the way through this video, ah, uh, oh, it's good. Um, apricot and vanilla. I I wanted to buy this one. Um, out of all, the, I looked at all the notes in all of the Disney ones and or the Mickey and Minnie one and the Finding Dory and the Hundred Acre Wood one and out of all the notes the mini one sounded the most delicious to me so it was the first one I wanted to get. It is very sweet, very fruity. It sort of smells like when I just smelt it there. Let me smell it again. There's almost a hint of lime in there, I swear. It almost smells like if you're familiar with Scentsy, the scent blackberry orange marmalade it smells like that but with other things like it's like that but there's other things in there and um, like it's more citrusy whereas blackberry orange marmalade is pure sweet jelly smell and this is kind of jelly and sweet smell but there's more citrusy smells to it it there's more levels to it than that one and it also smells a little bit like the Belle Sensi wax bar. I'm not going to say any more on the Belle one because then you won't watch my Disney video. But yeah, that is everything I got. I think I also have a little sample. Yes, I do. Here is my little sample of my blueberry cheesecake. And my mum informed me that it's in a little love heart shape. I always imagined the wax to be blue. Apparently it's a peach colour, a yellowy peach colour, like what's up with that, like blueberry cheesecake. Like, I know it's cheesecake so you'd think that but, and it is very, very blueberry smelling like, I will give Andrea that, right? It's one of these smells that is pretty overpowering and if you don't like blueberry or you don't like this smell then yes I can imagine how much you would want rid of it because it stinks. Not negatively, but it smells over everything. <laughs> so that's everything for this Sensi unboxing at Sensi haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will talk to you in another video. Bye guys!